have you no shame? The nation's largest health insurance corporation has been defending itself from attacks in California. We work so hard to do the right thing every day. And in Washington. Corporate executives at WellPoint are thriving, but its policyholders are paying the price. Tough questions for Anthem Blue Cross, the California subsidiary of WellPoint Incorporated, about proposed rate increases as high as 39 percent. At the same time, in a Los Angeles courthouse, the corporation has been defending itself from a lawsuit by this produce store owner. When Ephraim Nimi's liver started to fail, Blue Cross approved a transplant procedure at UCLA. As his health declined, his doctor advised him to go to an Indiana hospital where the waiting line was much shorter. What do you think would have happened if you didn't go to Indiana to get your new liver? I would have been down by the wayside, like a lot of people before me. Do you think you'd be alive today? No. Anthem Blue Cross refused to pay any part of the $205,000 because the surgery was done out of state. You know, I paid my premium on time all my life. And time that I need them, they're not there. The company denied interview requests, but issued a statement saying, Mr. Nimi's condition did not present medical urgency to require an emergency transplant. The trial gives a rare opportunity to hear how and why an insurance company denies a claim. In this case, the company could have covered Mr. Nimi's liver transplant at one of their approved hospitals in another state, but it didn't authorize it. Dr. Zenab Daba, who was chief medical officer for the insurance company, denied his claim. I'm comfortable with the decision that I've made based on the medical information that was provided for me at the time. Mr. Nimi's doctor will testify at the trial that the timing of the liver transplant was critical. Whatever the outcome of this trial, Anthem Blue Cross remains a lightning rod for many who are angry and frustrated about health care. Who gets it, who doesn't, and how much it will cost. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.